Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to elaborate on the story about Adam Peters that I mentioned in the previous video. So according to Mike Silver, and this rumor's been going around, I would say, the last couple of days, but I definitely heard more about it today more than anything, is that Nick Cassaro, who is the GM right now of the, of the Texans, would leave the Texans after the draft to go to New England and that Adam Peters would take over. Uh, again, according to Mike Silver. And I, I know as 49er fans, as we've seen this team become the talented juggernaut that it is, regardless if we won a Super Bowl or not, from 2017 till now, most, if not all, of the credit needs to go to Adam Peters. As much as John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan have turned how this team is viewed and perceived by the public with Lynch pretty much being a mouthpiece or the face of the franchise, kind of like Carmen policy was back in the day. The man who runs the show and gets us the players that we need and have is Adam Peters. This would be a huge, huge loss for the 49ers. Um, you know, the Trey Lance talk is one thing and, you know, the Niners are cool on, you know, because they, you know, they might have, you know, Brock Purdy here for the future and all that stuff. But when it comes to Adam Peters, uh, he's as important to this team for the talent that they have put together, mostly through the draft, mostly through mid-round picks. That's all Adam Peters. That's all on him and his scouts. And we've already lost Rand Carthon. He is gone. He has left the team. And now to possibly lose Adam Peters in the same offseason or kind of in the offseason, but kind of going into the 2023 season would be a huge loss. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you believe the report that Adam Peters is on his way out the door? I mean, the Niners essentially gave him a raise recently, right? For pretty much doing the same job. I would assume behind the scenes, he is the general manager, right? John Lynch is the the spokesperson, the voice of the franchise. I would really hate to see this happen. Um, this worries me. Um, you look at the 49ers now and the way they're constructed and even coming into this draft with no first round picks, and they're still probably going to add, you know, at least four to six good players to this roster. And I have the utmost confidence that most of those players will be contributing within the first or second year of their career. And that's because of Adam Peters and his scouts and how they are able to scout talent. And I'm really, really scared and nervous that that might be coming to an end. Um, teams like the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, teams that are good for a long time, whether they win the Super Bowl or not, and they always have a competitive roster as they build through the draft. You cannot build through free agency. You build through the draft. You build through team building that way. And Peters has been the most the most important, at least to me, and a lot of Niners fans, more than John Lynch. Like I said, John Lynch is great. He's the face of the franchise, but he does, I, I just don't see him as the guy who picks the players. And if anybody in that franchise or in that building took a lie detector test, they would fail 100% if they said who's more important. And they all said John Lynch. They would, they would fail. He is the face of the franchise, he makes us look really good. We look like a really well-run organization. But the man with the power, the man who has the stroke when it comes to this roster is Adam Peters. And I don't want to see him go. Let me, guy, let me uh, you guys and gals, in the comments, know, let me know what you think about the possible departing of Adam Peters. I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, someone like Mike Silver says something. It's definitely cause for pause. Um, mainly because of just how much great work he's done. And you just look at the majority of our roster. It's draft picks. We have the Trent Williams, yes. We have the Christian McCaffrey's, yes. You know, you got the Greenlaws. You have the, you know, the Fred Warners. You have the Hofungas. You have the Kittles. You have all these guys, these mid-round guys. And they're all because of Adam Peters. So hopefully he stays on board. Hopefully he's still with the 49ers. Hopefully they give him some de facto GM role and keep him in town because if he leaves, uh, it's it's not going to be good for the 49ers. All right, guys and gals, 
everybody have a great evening or morning or whatever, whenever you hear this video. Again, let, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you like what you hear and want to hear more in the future, like, comment, subscribe. Everybody have a great rest of your evening or morning or whatever. And I'll talk to you guys on the other side.